Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at QTrader. So QTrader is a platform here that we can use for a variety of different things, whether it's uh, placing trades, viewing charts, also some other options as well. So I just wanted to go through a quick overview before doing some more in-depth videos on QTrader and how to use it and uh, go through a lot of the different features that it has. So if we take a look at QTrader here, you can see we have it open here. I am open in the home page and I'll talk about pages in just a moment here. So I have several different windows that are open by default font we also have toolbars here on the top and on the bottom um, so just to kind of dive right in you can notice that the uh, upper left hand corner here has a trading dome on it so of course I can select that here and you can see uh, it's actually a tabbed trading dome here so we have a few different options we can actually have multiple instruments on the trading dome here so you can see I can switch between those so I can have up to three different uh, in, or four different instruments here uh, on the trading dome here per trading dome so of course I can do that we can also resize it make it a little bit bigger and you can see all those different options will kind of scale to adjust there as well uh, so that makes it easy to be able to kind of size these to uh, your uh, specific preferences we also have here a portfolio monitor so uh, this can uh, kind of view different symbols uh, you know basic uh, information like last trade here we can see uh, bid volume ask volume here uh, but we can also place trades directly from here so you see I have buy limit options sell limit options and uh, we can also uh, kind of uh, choose between these as well and you see we can kind of uh, expand or contract these uh, as well um, we also can kind of view different types uh, here so we have different tabs and you can also make different tabs here for the por portfolio monitor to, to kind of separate different asset classes and things like that so that can be useful for kind of organizing different instruments that you might trade again in different asset classes here or even uh, just symbols and be able to uh, quickly place trades directly from the portfolio monitor here we also have a few different uh, windows here as well in addition to the portfolio monitor and the trading dome we have something called the instrument monitor so uh, if any of these videos here if you notice or uh, windows here I can actually uh, choose between these of course and what you might have noticed here before I kind of continue on is that every window that I click will actually change our toolbar on the left hand side here so basic navigation uh, you'll select the window that you want to use and then you have a host of different options on the left hand side here on the toolbar to be able to uh, choose between so for example if I go to the trading dome we see all the options that are available to the trading dome if I go to the portfolio monitor we see some different options so let's go ahead and look at a chart so if I select chart here and uh, of course you can also maximize any of these windows so I have this page open with all of these different windows within it but if I select a window for example the chart and I maximize it that I'll bring it right front and center here and pretty big here so that we can see it and then we can adjust of course the different options so I have this toolbar since I selected the chart I can for example change uh, to candlestick bars here or maybe lines uh, we also have uh, regular bars as well as some other options here so you can see uh, how uh, quickly we can kind of go through those I can even add in separate uh, studies here if I wanted to see I can add in multiple uh, studies as well we can also quickly have our window resume its previous position kind of uh, with those other uh, windows here so we can restore it just by clicking that maximize in the upper right hand corner here and you see it brings it right back to where it was before so of course we do have these charts here available again we can access all the different options here on the left hand side add studies and things like that we also have something called the instrument monitor so this is actually similar to the portfolio monitor that you see except that we can view things like um, different indicator or study values so we can actually do this for uh, a variety of different instruments so you can see I just have one instrument here but I can add in a tab here for another instrument if I wanted to and that will bring that up but what's great about the instrument monitor here is that I can actually view multiple uh, studies here kind of at a glance for one different instrument or multiple instruments uh, using the tab. So we kind of quickly see different time frames. So you can see these are bar uh, on a five minute time frame uh, calculations. We also see the calculations for candlesticks at a 10 minute time frame um, for a variety of different instruments kind of at a glance. So that just makes it easier to see a lot of those different indicator values all at once. Uh, so that's the instrument monitor. We also have the orders and positions uh, window. So all of your different orders that will uh, you'll place here, whether it's the trading dome, the portfolio monitor, uh, or things like that. We also have something called Snap Trader that you can place some trades uh, through the chart. 
Um, you can view all of those different orders here uh, in the orders and positions. So if I had, I haven't placed any trades here uh, today, so we don't have any in here, but if we uh, had working orders, they would fill here. You can also uh, use all the different tabs. So for example, exceptions, uh, you know, if an order didn't go through for whatever reason, you can see why, and that will log here, or we can even, even view canceled orders, uh, filled orders, and you can see a lot of different options there. And of course, we can maximize that just like we did with the others to make that a little bit easier to see. So it's pretty intuitive here. Just pick a window and it will uh, add those different options to the sidebar here you can also maximize any of these windows and of course if you wanted to you don't have to use the default um, you know uh, layout here you can move them around so I can move my chart up to here and maybe resize my portfolio monitor if I wanted to I really can make it pretty flexible here as far as um, how everything looks uh, on our um, uh, page here and going to pages here just to kind of give you a brief overview of pages we're in the home page here so a page is a collection of windows so if I wanted to switch to another one uh, of course I could just select one of these and it would bring up a whole other set of different windows and you can make custom pages as well uh, to kind of organize your different charts and switch between them so that's kind of just a quick overview of QTrader um, you can see there's a lot of different options and uh, there's even more that we're going to dive into as we go throughout some more videos we're going to go through uh, specific videos on every one of these features so whether it's the dome trader here, their portfolio monitor, charting, orders and positions, instrument monitors, and more uh, will definitely make it easier for you to get up to speed with QTrader and all of its different features. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.